Okay, hey guys, it's Allie, and I'm back with another video, finally. Um, I can't believe this. I'm recording this on Thursday. I was hoping I'd record it earlier in the week so I could post it on Thursday, but it's okay, because like I've said, I'd be posting on either Thursdays, Fridays, or Saturdays every week. One of those three days, and I'm just I'm just getting into this now. That's, that's all it is. So this is going to be a Friday upload, <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's Friday. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long to edit it, but um, this is gonna be a Friday upload. We're just we're just gonna bear with it. Um, right now I'm trying to charge my Kindle because not sure if you can see this, but it's 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 dead. At the, oh, it, it just booted up. Well, okay then. I'm gonna charge up my Kindle here because I'm gonna be listening to music for a while. Um, I'm hoping I can get some stuff done, and I'll show you guys what that is. So you probably already know what it is if you read the title. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty everybody, so today I'm going to be working on some cash envelopes and we're going to get some into some juice stuff here. Um, a lot has happened since I did my last video, but I got a new wallet. <laughs> I feel like every single time I record a video I have a new wallet, but that's because I've been looking for a good wallet for a very long time. And lately I've been using like a red Buxton, I think it was, wallet. Um, but there's problems with that, okay? I've realized my biggest problem with a wallet is that I, I keep getting really, really big wallets because I have to have them hold cash envelopes, and that doesn't work out for me. Um, because I'm using cash envelopes, like, I need these really big wallets, but I can't fit it in and out of my purse all the time. And I like to keep my house keys attached to my wallet at all times, which makes it even harder to get in and out of my house because it's attached to my wallet, and I have to, like, yank my wallet on my purse and everything. It's just a nightmare. So I think I've finally decided on how I'm going to run my wallet from now on, about how I'm worrying about the cash envelopes and how it gets all mixed in together. Um, from now on, I'm going to take money out of the envelope that I need to spend from. So if I'm going down to like CVS to get some like toiletries and stuff, if I'm going down to CVS, I'm going to grab money from the personal envelope and put it into my wallet before I leave. I'm still going to use my cash envelopes to budget, but I'm just going to pull money from them when I need them. If that makes any sense. I need some cash envelopes and I want them to match my happy planner and as you can see I've been using Mama's Got a Budget um, cash envelopes and they're really gorgeous and they're really pretty and they're laminated which is amazing but this isn't gonna be working out for what I need to do. I mean it looks gorgeous in here I mean like everything's all matchy matchy with like the star themes and whatnot and I love it but I kind of want to have my own cash envelopes because like now I have my own YouTube channel I kind of want to have some, my own cash envelopes and I'm not going to be selling them or anything I just make some cash envelopes they're really cute and um, I'm going to have like a bigger envelope to hold them all in and that way I have more things like I can actually because I only have the five at right now at the moment that way I have things I can actually stuff for my videos and stuff and whatnot because that's what I need so mine aren't going to be laminated because I do not have a laminator at the moment but I am going to be making them out of some heavy weight card stock, and I'm not going to really be taking them out of the house too much, so it's it's going to be easier to store. I did make some test, a singular test envelope, and let me show you. Now this one's kind of ugly, but it's it was just like a test to figure out like the dimensions and whatnot. That's why it's ugly, okay? But I'm just going to be taking card stock and some washi tape on the sides to seal it up, and yeah, this is actually really nice the actual material so I don't think it's gonna get beaten up too much and the ones I'm gonna be making are actually gonna have a flap like this I was just trying to make them a little shorter fit my original wallet and I'm not sure if I'm still gonna do them this size this still fits the bill decently if I want to get out a bill right here to show you I think this still fits it right <laughs> Yeah, this still fits money in here just fine, but I want to flap on there because it's more secure. And I don't know. I mean, I could do the kind that has like the flap on the top, but I kind of just want it on the side. I feel like that's an easier opening. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm actually gonna have to. Sorry, I'm actually gonna have to readjust the sizing on this. I'm gonna have to make this three and a half inches on both sides. I mean, up here. I'm gonna have to make this three and a half inches long on both sides. That way I can actually make the flap when I fold it over, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna have something similar to this. 
just a little bit smaller. And this, I think, is shorter widthwise too, isn't it? Yeah, it's about like a quarter of an inch shorter as well. But then it'll have like a little flap. I think that'll be really cute, nice and small. So these are the, so other than the dimensions, which I actually have to fix on here so I don't accidentally do something stupid and mess all of this up. We're gonna write three and a half inches. But basically, these are some of the envelopes I want to be making um, for my stuffing. I might do more for my sinking funds and whatnot. I don't know yet. We're going to see how this goes. So, I'm going to put on some music and get into this video. And I hope you all enjoy it. And maybe you'll make some envelopes alongside me. Because it's really fun to get creative. Because I really love the envelopes I bought. My mama's got a budget. But I want to have some of my own. And I think you guys should make some of your own too because it's a nice little craft project to make them unique and personal so I think I will do labels similar to this uh, this one was cut wrongly but I'm going to be doing labels and stuff on top of it too so let's see how this goes <laughs> oh I forgot to mention I am using um, the cardstock I bought before I'm using this Stargazer um, pack you can get at Hobby Lobby um, I'll probably leave a link down below in the description if you want to get it because it's actually really gorgeous with cardstock. So, but for now, time lapse.
I do like to give um, a special version of the page a pretty 
it's Allie, and I'm back with a little quick side note I forgot to mention. I ended up making a larger envelope to hold all my sinking funds. I keep all of my regular everyday uh, spending, like my spending envelope, my personal envelope, emergency car, uh, dining out, that kind of stuff right here. But I keep my sinking funds for like my savings and whatnot all inside this larger envelope I ended up creating and it looks like the other ones and it's shiny and stuff and it's got a larger uh, flap so keep all the sinking funds and the envelopes in here and just wanted to show you what I ended up doing so yeah this and this larger I can close it this thing pops up in the middle there but as soon as you get that down it closes better um, I keep this larger envelope in my binder alongside the regular ones too, but yep, just wanted to show you that really quick. 